to, to the economy. Actually, I just want to say a number, zero. Today, we received news that our economy had zero percent inflation in the month of July. Zero percent. Here's what that means. While the price of some things go up, went up last month, the price of other things went down by the same amount. The result, zero inflation last month. But people are still hurting. But zero inflation last month. Economists look at a measure of inflation that ignores food and energy prices, and they call it core inflation. That's about the lowest amount in several years, several months. When you couple that with last week's booming jobs report of 528,000 jobs created last month and 3.5 percent unemployment, it underscores the kind of economy we've been building. We're seeing a stronger labor market where jobs are booming and Americans are working, and we're seeing some signs that inflation may be getting to moderate. That's what happens when you build an economy from the bottom up and the middle out. The wealthy do very well and everyone has a chance. It gives everyone a chance to make progress. Now I want to be clear, with the global challenges we face from the war in Europe to disruption of supply chains and pandemic shutdowns uh, in Asia, we, uh, we could face additional headwinds in the months ahead. Our work is far from over, but two things should be clear. First, the economic plan is working, and second, is building an economy that will reward work. Wages are up this month, provide opportunity, help the middle class, and still have work to do, but